All right, guys. Hiding in the, uh... <laughs> hiding in the hay. Uh, welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Origins. Thank you guys for all the support on these videos. About the transition when we left off last time. Check out the little friendly dog. Hey, buddy. I didn't know dogs were in this game. I thought it was just like cats. Where did the cats go? Oh, I like I was about to pet one. Anyways, I love you all. And let's do this. We gotta go to the bottom of the lake. Are you kidding? Alright, whatever, man. Let's do this. I think it's funny, man. Like, that whole entire section right there wasn't too bad. You just really have to, like, take your time. It's a waiting game. It's like Splinter Cell Blacklist was back in 2013. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, look at all this. Wait, is that it? Oh, it's down there somewhere. There it is. Oh, we got to hop off right here. Dismount time. See ya. All right, time to dive. The o Oh, the oxygen level goes down quickly when you do that. Oh, it's in here. Okay. Oh, this, this is taking forever for a reason. They want you to drown down here. All right, give the scroll that back. Scroll. Neck. Should I just stand in water? I don't know how safe it really is to go. I, I guess I'll keep going up. My oxygen is kind of important, I think. Oh, we got a new location discovered, too. 25 experience. Come on, man. I'm eager to see what the max level is. I, I would guess 40 or 50 if I just had to just take a wild guess because uh, some of the footage I saw, everybody was like level 20 something. And that was like months ago, so. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She's at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria, Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Philakis are a tightly bound group. And murder. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Here we are. The villa is up. You will learn more at the villa. We're gonna go meet with Cleopatra. So I need to follow them now. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, Bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. Ha <laughs> ha 
Catch me! Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes. She I'm caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. I'll talk to her. She doesn't hold the crowd. Bees! Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xanthivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek Nebsheve. My queen, this is... Uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region. But they have been unable to touch the order. <clears throat> Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages. Yet, a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our son Shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow,
Quest completed. All right. The target menu has been updated. Oh, we got to level 13 as well. Let's go, boys. All right, this area looks... Okay. Hold on. I remember this area. Okay. I'm finally kind of back where I was initially. So, did I just see a level... There's a level 15 one. Roya, where have you got to? Hey, let's talk to this person and get the quest, at least on the menu. You, Neb, are young and your legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable. Probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her... Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the Pigeon Tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. All right, the weasel. And we got a lot of quests unlocked, too. So just a level 14. All right, let me just check everything first. Well, where are we at? I'll say the first thing we do is unlock this fast travel point. Even though we can fast travel here. Uh, just, I don't know. It makes sense to do that. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, let me look one more time. Down here, what is this one called? The Hungry River. Yep. Okay, so... This one, I think, is the... I don't know which one it is. Is that the one where you gotta fight the hippos? I can't remember. Let me go unlock this first before we do anything else. Alright, now let's look at the targets. Alright, so we killed... Everyone on the outside. Now we have the scarab. The hyena, the crocodile, and the lizard. So I wonder how far in this goes as far as like... Did we finish the first act with those kills, I guess? It doesn't matter. Anyways, let me go get this point. It's been a while since I did one of these. But I like having multiple fast travel points. It makes the game uh, a lot easier. But I guess after this, I will stop the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a really good game so far. And I'm really excited to kind of see where the story goes. Now, the thing is, I, I remembered seeing pictures of the Cleopatra woman that we met a while back. I thought that was a different character, so I got him confused. But anyways, we got them all in the... I guess the story now, so we'll get to kind of see how it unfolds. I'm gonna climb this. What's funny is like I, I'm finally in an area that kind of looks familiar. Granted, I'm really under leveled though, because that saw that one mission was like level 25 or something. I don't know what that's all about. So guys, welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Origins. Thank you guys for the support of this series. It really means a lot. And uh, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. So here's how the... I guess this area is going to break down essentially. So there are three main quests. And I'm guessing that's for the targets we have. Even though there's four. Uh, maybe we get the fourth one after we take down the other three. Really have no idea. Uh, so right now it looks like if you look at these other ones. Side quests, side quests. Those are the ones that are kind of next to us. Uh, and then we, essentially we can't do these until we at least get to two levels under, uh, what those are. So, uh, what do we got here? 1,000 XP, 1,500. I might go back and do this one. Because this one is gonna, gonna give you the most experience out of all these. That's basically two missions in here in one. So, uh, I figure what I'll wind up doing is I'm just gonna pick something. I'm gonna do this mission right here, I guess. 1,000 experience. I'm just kind of keep it going. So our initial goal is to take down the targets to progress with the main story. But before I we can be do that, uh, we have to do a lot of side stuff. So what I may do, I may do a video or two of me showing you some side missions. And just kind of exploring the area. Just kind of getting a more of a feel for the game. And then I may leave some in, may leave some out. I really just want to keep with the main story. But it's kind of like uh, when Mafia 3 was out, how uh, you kind of had to do... I guess what does a lot about? of extra stuff. Hold on, what is this? Yeah, then who? Check it out, man. Yeah. Alright, let's go over here. I gotta hop the wall first. Hello? Oh, I can just take this little, uh, little boat right here. I'm gonna call it a boat. I don't know if it's a considered one. It's like a canoe almost. A uh, glorified canoe. 
Uh, we should be good. Get to go down river. But yeah, thank you for all love and support of this, man. I, I am loving this game. I think so far the game is uh, proven to be pretty, like... It, it's got such a great story, but they give you a whole world to explore. But the one thing I like about this was compared to old Assassin's Creed games, the side missions you do, which is what I'm about to do now, are, like, none, none of these have been the same. So even though it feels like there's not as much of a story right there... We're still also... Oh, this is... I remember this one. Oh, I, I kind of remember this now. But yeah, it, it just feels like since every mission's unique, we really don't have a whole lot we're trying to uh, get done other than take out the main targets for the main story. But these missions do help with the game a lot. So I thought this is where the guy was hurt. When you got up there and you had to f fight off like the alligator or whatever, or the crocodile. Stay awake, I all right, so we got two level 11 enemies. We got three there. Oh my goodness. In captivity. So can I just go in uh, swinging? I'm going to do this. Scan one more time. Make sure there's no one else around. All right, here we go. Damn it, what's the matter with you? All right. This guy's gonna see me. It's fine, though. No. Oh, he didn't Alert! see it. Trouble here! We're no bumpkins. Won't be caught in that. They don't know I'm here just yet. All right, I can I can might get one more stealth kill and then probably gonna be like crazed. All right. I'm going for it. I don't care. Something new. But take out this guy and the guy down here. Ooh, is it gonna work? Dude, that was like from the top rope. Did you see that? So those guys. That's hilarious. I for sure thought I was a goner right there. Time to go home. Wait, Medzai. This psychic cock stole a bust of Icarus that my mother had prepared for the Great Sariotir's memorial. They threw it in the river to defile it and bring a curse upon the Prasina Green Racers. We need it. Let me get you to your mother first. No. You must retrieve it before it is lost for good, or else my mother will never recover from her despair. I can make it home, but I am too weak to find the bust. Please, find the bust of my namesake and bring it back to my mother. As I must. Oh, we gotta retrieve the bust. Oh, that was close. There it is. That's kind of funny how I just like ran up there and did all that and like nobody stopped me. Well, I guess they, they didn't know I was there, but you can be so close to the enemy and there's like nothing they can do. All right, let me just go under now. That's a lot of like, so even if I did all the side quests, I just don't see myself being anywhere near the level I need to be. So I don't really know how to, maybe there's more that unlock. Even in death, you ignite their passion, Zikaras. Let's get you where you belong. All right, where do we go? Oh, we're going this way now. Can I take this? It's such a great time for gaming right now. Like, I'm so excited. Every day I get to, like, just play these new games and stuff is just a blessing. So thank you guys for kind of giving me the opportunity to do this. It's it's funny, though. Like, this is the fourth or fifth Assassin's Creed game I think I've played on my channel. Even though I've played them all just about. There was one where, I don't know if it was Unity or Syndicate, that came out with, like, a next-gen release. There was a whole different game. And I think it tied into the older gen game, and they came out at the exact same day, exact same time. I played the newer of the two as far as like the generation of everything. So, other than that though, I've played just about all. I've played three, four Black Flag, a lot of the DLC, Syndicate, Unity, and now this one. So, really awesome. 
really excited. This has been my favorite so far, just for the uh, storyline alone. Unity had a really good story too. All right, here we go. Metai, you saved my son. A thousand thanks and more I owe you. The bust of Icarus. Now Prasina has a chance in the upcoming games. You are truly a blessing sent from the gods. We will make an offering to Icarus and the Prasina Green in your name. There is no need for that. But if you must, make the offering for my son. I would have loved to have shown him the spectacle of the Hippodrome. We will. Come, mother. We have to prepare to deal with my brother's funeral. Yes, of course. At least he's glad that the bust of Icarus was restored. 1,000 experience, and is it enough? No, it's not. Man, it's gonna take a long time to get to level 20. Is that like the last area of the game or something to take these guys out? Hold on, let me use my ability points. I think I got two right here, so let me go ahead and see. Overpowered XP. Eh, I'm not really feeling that. Uh, Firebomb. I gotta get some of these traits on the side, so let me start over here. Buy materials. That has been something I want to do. Now, what does this other thing unlock? Really? I don't feel like you really need that. What does the Seer ability do? Increases the damage of all your tools by additional 1%. Flesh decay, poison darts, firebombs, fire. What about the warrior one? Oh, that's that's what you really need. I, I guess you have to have all the ones connecting to it in order to do that. Alright, so we got 5 of 58 on synchronizations. We have a long way to go, guys. Alright, what is this one? Investigate the disturbance. I still think I might have to go back and do that, unless it's in this area as well. Alright, the Hungry River is the one where we gotta take down the hippos. And I remember doing a video of that a while back, so I may or may not show that one. I'm trying to show you guys some of the newer stuff. This one's not too far away, so let me go ahead and go over there. Let me call in the support. I was trying to think of like, as far as all the games that have come out recently... Oh, let me follow the road right here while I talk to you guys. I think I can just... Let me make it a custom marker because sometimes this thing's kind of weird. Oh wait, you know what? I can just fast travel next to it, never mind. Alright, that was actually kind of funny that it was right here at it, so. I must be careful now. I don't even know what I was gonna say. But I was gonna say, like, as far as all the new games that have come out, it's been kinda of cool that each one is so different from the other. And uh just I don't know, it's really awesome. We gotta investigate. So I did do this one as well, the weasel. I remember this one. It's a easy amount of experience. So let me just scan the area, investigate. An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? I don't know how I'm supposed to get to the, the like the level it wants me to get to. Because there's three main quests I can do to progress with the story, but I can't do any of those for a while. Out of blood. Where's the body? I may just show all these side quests because truth be told, it's like the hippo one's actually kinda cool. I cannot leave you here. I will take you back to Peleus for the proper rites. Poor Ruya. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. By the gods. Ruya. What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our master of arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> 